Everyone, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, so don't base anything I say off these videos. I'm just doing it for pure entertainment purposes only. I want to jump in real quick and, you know, over, uh, I've had a lot of people tell me like, oh, I'm, I'm a bag, bag holding AMC, which is, yeah, it's somewhat true. I am holding a bag. Yes, I am down, but I, I do believe that the play has huge potential. Um, and I'll say this, any stock play I'm in, not just AMC, any stock play I'm in, I really, really, really try not to sell in the red. I always try to accumulate when it's red um, and hope for a green day when it comes. Um, wake me up when September comes. <sighs> See what I did there? Green day. Never mind. Off track. Uh, but what I'm trying to say is, is it's not just AMC. It's not the only like people like, oh, I can't believe you're still at AMC. What a loser. To me, it's crazy. To me, it's just crazy to sell in the red on any stock. I've done it before and it makes me sick. And, and, and I don't know if you're like me, but as soon as you sell in the red, all of a sudden the next day it pumps like 30%. You're like, what? <laughs> That's how it works. It's, it's like, you know, those are the types of things that happens. It's, it's what is it called? Murphy's Law. Um, I also have the type of thing, when, and you know, a lot of you new investors, you have to go through the pains yourself, but a lot of times you'll jump into a stock and as soon as you buy it, push order and you go look at it, go look at the line, it goes <laughs> nose dives. Rarely does it go straight up right after you buy. So it's just how it works, man. Uh, as soon as you push sell, it rockets up. As soon as you push buy, it goes down. So um, that's why, you know, that you just got to be patient. Um, you know, I'm not telling anyone to buy, sell, or hold. I don't want to pump any stocks. I'm not, I'm not out to, you know, this for me is an outlet for me to talk about stocks. I got people I can talk to, but they all have families and, and YouTube, something I can come on. I can jump on. I can say what I want to say, jump off and come back to the comments later. Um, so I'm not out here to, to argue and fight with everyone about AMC. It's not the only play we have. You know, it's just the most interesting one I have. Um, and yes, it is down uh, uh, quite a bit of percent. But just like I said, with any other stock play, I average down while it's red. AMC, I tend to just have more of a more DD and more um, more of a reason to believe, in my personal opinion, that it is going to going to have a huge bump, not just a normal bump. In any stock, it goes up, it goes down. It never goes down all the time and up all the time. <laughs> AMC goes down a lot, but we have, uh, we do know what we're holding on to. Hold on, I got a customer yeah. coming in. Sorry, I had a customer, um, pesky customers making me money. <laughs> um, but yeah, what I, I know what I'm holding on to. Um, you don't have to believe in it and that, that's fine. I, I really don't care if you don't believe in it. I, I'm not I'm not trying to fight people over Adam Aaron. I don't know the man, I just thought he was doing a good job. That's not a reason to come in and attack me because he's a... Okay, whatever, dude. It's not that deep for me. You know what I mean? Um, it's really not. I mean, I enjoy the, the entertainment of the stock, of the play. I believe they're doing a good job. Um, some people don't, and they really... I, I they, they get... For me, this isn't like... I don't have everything dumped in here, you know? And that's one thing I should point out. Never invest more than you're willing to lose. You know what I mean? Don't jump into a play just because you heard hype about it. I know a lot of people are saying that, oh, and then, you know, there's a, we're grifters and we're here just to get money off of AMC. Like, don't judge me. I'm, not here just, I'm here to make money off the stock, but not off of YouTube. I literally have made $4 on YouTube in the entire time I've been here. And it wasn't even off of AMC or a stock video. It was off of a casino plays video. Someone gave me a tip. Um, YouTube YouTube takes 30% of that, so I wound up with $2.80. So for people to say, and I've never, I haven't made a dime from my store off of this YouTube, you know, I don't promote anything to make money off of it. I, like I said, I come here to vent, talk, um, chit chat, because for the most part, people don't want to talk about stocks. You know, the people I know that do want to talk about stocks, we can't be around each other all the time. I can't be on the phone with them. I'm not a 13 year old teenage girl who can be on the phone all day. So that's why I come to YouTube. I'm not doing it to, to pump anything. I'm not doing it to try to convince you of anything. I just know that there's a huge community behind this. Not even just AMC. There's a huge community behind the stocks. But a community within the community of AMC. This is like two communities now. It, was, it used to be one. Everyone was cool, have fun, eat crayons, screw with brain. Now it's turned into like this big old, you know, turn against each other. And I'm on this side. You're on that side. Really, when it comes down to it, we're all on the same side. We don't have to agree if we like a CEO. We don't have to agree that that we like the direction it's moving and all that. But in the end, we're all here for the same reason, to make money off of the stock play. So 
you know, and, and for me, I like the stock, I like the company, so if it doesn't squeeze, I'll still maintain my my position and, and try to make some money off of it. Mm-hmm. Obviously, you get into the stock market to make money. You don't get into it just to donate to, to companies. If I want to do that, I'll just donate to the company. I go watch movies and eat popcorn there. I buy the popcorn every time I see it. I'm at a store, which I'm sure my kids, <laughs> they, they, they survive off of AMC popcorn when it's snack time now. But anyways, that's what it is. So... Hopefully this video clarifies some things. Hopefully we don't get too tied up in the uh, I'm on the no side, you're on the yes side, and we're against each other, and da 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 da. There is shills, there is trolls, but I notice a lot of like normal people are starting to talk trash, and they're just kind of repeating what I believe some of the paid YouTubers or paid shills are saying. They're just kind of repeating the narrative. You know, think for yourself. Be a grown up. You know what I mean? Don't don't follow the lead of someone on YouTube or the lead of anyone really. I mean, there's only one high power. It's it's a god. If you believe in a Buddha, a god, whatever it is, that that that's the only person you should fear, follow. Other than that, make your own decisions. Have a good day. Be blessed and let's get rich soon, please.